Hi, my name is Alex McKinney. I'm the Head of Field Services at Podpoint, and I'm here to answer some questions about the home charge installation. It's all very practical, really. You need to make sure that you can charge your car easily, multiple times a week. So things like location of charge points, uh, how long your cable is, how you park your car wherever you drive in or reverse in, and then finally where that charge port on the car is. Um, for the actual day of the installation, you want to make sure that you've got any areas tidy and, and clear of clutter uh, and your Wi-Fi uh, password ready. A standard installation is anything up to 15 metres of cable but we don't need to bury it underground or at an excessively high height. Non-standard installations are typically where you need ground works, you need to run the cable at a high level or there's extensive internal works requiring trunking or additional people to complete. In EV terms, DC charging is for fast destination or en route charging, whereas AC is used for home, work, or anything where your car will be stationary for a long amount of time. This may be possible, but can become an issue if the cable needs to cross a public footpath that currently doesn't meet regulations. You need to get specific permission from your local council to approve this. First of all, if you can, get a charge point installed at home. This is by far the easiest and cheapest option. If you can't do this, then local charge points around you with cheap tariffs where you can leave your car for a decent amount of time will really help or get a cheeky charge at work for free if possible. Thanks for watching. If you've got any more questions, then give us a shout. I'll see you next time.